Hey hey hey, what is up everyone? I'm TCSK. I'm back with another build video. Oh, don't forget to check out my set of element build. It is right up here or down there at the description. It is crazy and powerful build. Don't forget to check that out. Oh yeah, baby. This time I'm gonna show you the party build. What's party build? You should have heard of this. If you haven't, then you have heard it now. It is the firework arrow build. You are going to have so much fun shooting this fire arrow and blowing those monsters up. With this build, you can beat Apocalypse plus 20 easily. Okay, let's take a look at fire arrow artifact. It doesn't require an arrow to shoot. At 169 level, the fire arrow does as high as 54,000 damage. Did I say high? It is even better if you can get it above 169 level, it deal more damage. The firework arrow explodes on impact and damaging nearby enemies. This is nice, but 30 second cooldown is way too long. And you will need 3 of it, but still not so effectively powered enough to beat Apocalypse plus 20. So to make it more effective, first you will need to reduce the cooldown time. So you will need to pair it with armor that comes with 25% artifact cooldown. There are a lot of armor that have this ability. I will list it later in the summary. So you can check that out. For the recommended one, either evocation rope, ember rope or wooden rope works great. And of these three rope also increase 15% move speed so you can run faster. The rest ability is bonus and must come with 3 cooldown enchantments total you have 4 cooldown reduction with that it will greatly reduce your the cooldown time to 4 seconds per firework arrow Ooh, so much better now so to make your firework arrow deal more damage you will need a half crossbow with multi shoot chain reaction and infinity enchantment the half crossbow can shoot even more projectiles it is 5 arrow per shoot and it works well with the firework arrow because it's fire 5 fire arrow instead of 1. With multi shot enchantment, you can shoot as high as 25 firework arrow plus you will have a chance to fire another 5 firework arrow in all direction on impact with chain reaction. Add on with infinity enchantment, there is a 48% chance to immediately replenish the firework arrows artifact after shooting it now you have no worries on cooldown also deal even more damage enhancing its effectiveness against bosses and large group of enemy can you smell the party as for the weapon you will need a soul weapon regardless of level and rarity with anima condu enchantment so it can heal you up whenever you kill a monster the other two can be any but i recommend you to use two prospectors if your soul weapon have it if you are such a powerful fire arrow, you're not going to use your weapon anyway. So just add prospectors on your weapon so you can earn some emerald while you are on your journey. Okay, that's all you need and here's a summary for you. The plus of this build, you can deal damage to a large group of enemies, very long range attack, 4 second cooldown or 0 cooldown with infinity enchantment. Pawn and deflect fear free. Oh yeah, another fear free build to you. Emerald farming, it is better with prospectors enchantment on your weapon. Fast movement speed with ropes. And colorful screen. Yeah. For cons, very low defense. Fear of quick movement monster. Fear of out of firework error. Some monster might take many shoot to kill, so you might be overused firework error. So be careful of that. And last one, weak melee attack. Soggy Swamp is the best map to farm for this build. As you can see, it drops Soul Knife, a Soul Weapon, Skater Crossbow Group, and Evocation Rope Group. 3 items in one map. Perfect. And for the Firework Arrow Artifact, you can obtain it at Redstone Mine, High Block Horse, Under Horse, and the Colossal Rampart. Or buy it from any of the 3 merchants at camp. Conclusion for this build, Fire Arrow can kill large group of monsters flawlessly but you will die in few hits. That means either you kill the monster first or they kill you first. So you gotta stand far far 
and if you can't get infinity enchantment on your hub crossbow it still works okay you just need to use your firework arrow smarter and one more thing is that you don't need an unique armor to make this build powerful for example oh i must have amber root with three cooldown enchantment to make this powerful no evocation rope can do the same just that it doesn't have the ability of burn nearby enemies and it is not necessary when the monster can come close to you you are dead you have no time to burn them slowly isn't it if you can get the unique one it is a bonus got it all right so what do you guys think about this build colorful right oh no i mean powerful right if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. Don't forget to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. I will be making more videos on builds and tips. So happy building. Thanks for watching and catch me up for next video. Yeah.